Hello America, it's Michael Duncan Foster here. I am in Seymour, Indiana. I've been here for, oh God, I'm going on three weeks now. Uh, for some reason, God's got me in this town and I can't seem to get out of it, but I've been doing good. This is Seymour, Indiana here. It's fixing to rain. I just wanted to bring you up. This is the main street of Seymour, Indiana. If you notice right behind me, right there, that's the liquor store. Now, the reason why I show you the liquor store is because one of the people that I've been helping is truly addicted to alcohol. She's an alcoholic. Uh, her name's Christina. But uh, the reason why she's an alcoholic is because she's autistic. She's got the Asperger syndrome, syndrome and she talks with her hands. She's truly beautiful woman. All sunshine. Only sunshine comes out of this lady. But um, she doesn't take her medication. So instead of taking her medication, and she wound up homeless and with nothing, she didn't have anything, and instead of taking her medication, she drinks vodka. And you may have seen that in the other video. But um, right now, as I speak, right now, she is sobering up. And uh, I'm working with her to stay sober. Uh, it's the second day of sobriety for her. And hopefully she can get off of the alcohol because it's truly, truly going to going to hurt her. I mean, she drinks a lot of vodka, more than any man or any person I have ever seen in my life, and without getting drunk, really, um, it's truly amazing, but uh, she's decided to quit on her own, and that's what she's doing. Also, <coughs> excuse me, I wanted to bring to you the love bus. This is the love bus right here, and right down there it says... What the world needs now is love, sweet love, yes, and this is the love bus, isn't that cool, got a love bus, so I wanted to drink, because God is love, and that's what this world needs, is love, if you want God in your life, all you have to do is love, unconditionally, everything, everything, love, uh, Love can take you anywhere. True that. Love got me all the way here. Obviously, as you know, I left with uh, no money, no plan, just faith. Faith in God. And God is love. So love got me all the way to Seymour, Indiana. Love has also gotten me out of a lot of things uh, here in Seymour. As I've been here, I'm taking the walk. Like I said, it's fixing to rain. And how do we know that it's going to rain out here in, the, in Indiana? Well, I'll show you. One of the things they showed me. So if you look at that tree right here, when it starts to rain out here in Seymour, Indiana, the tree leaves, they flip upside down. Truly, truly a strange thing. Can you see that tree right there behind me? Look at the leaves on it. See how you see the whites of it? They flip upside down because of the because they know it's going to rain. So that's a sign when it's going to rain. They've been flipped upside down all day long. And uh, it's cool. I think that that's cool. You just walk outside, check out if the trees leaves are flipped upside down. You know if it's going to rain or not. Anyway, this is the street that we that I've been staying down right here. Can you see this street? Okay, and if you look down there, right over there, that building, that's the Anchor House. The Anchor House building is where a lot of people from this town go to get uh, help. There's a shelter there where families can go and stay there for a couple months and get on their feet, uh, which b -Rab stays there currently. And there also is a food pantry where people go uh, to receive food. And um, I did a video inside there, and I hope you watch that video. But it's truly the only shelter in Seymour, Indiana. Um, but they have other food pantries. But people come from all over this city right here to this street. This street is Vine Street. There is a lot of homeless people that walk up and down this street. The, car, the parking lot is always full of people that are that they're trying to help. And um, I wanted to show you that. Here comes some people right now. That I know that live in the apartment complex. How y'all doing? 
fine, not just not wonderful. Fantastic. <laughs> um, and uh, this apartment complex right back there. See the apartment complex? That's right next to the anchor house. Okay. So here we are at the anchor house again. And where this is how I wound up here. Free bananas. Free bananas. I wound up here by the grace of God uh, because when I got to this town, my spoke was broke. My spoke broke down. My spoke was broke. I went to the bicycle shop. There's only one bicycle shop in town, B2B Bikes. And um, he put the spoke on. He put the tire on. And he didn't charge me a thing. God bless him. And then after that, I met uh, Bobby, which we call him Big Bobby. And he brought me over to this house right here, which is right across the street from the Anchor House. That's where Bobby and June were staying. Uh, there's Bobby, June, Kathy, and Larry, okay? And then there's Timmy, which we call TMI, too much information, because Timmy is truly autistic too, and he's got some, he has Asperger's disease also. And um, anyway, Bobby brought me here out of the crisis of his heart, and he was gonna give me another tire, and um, the gear, the back sprocket, I'm sitting down now, but the back sprocket on my bike, 